Hey guys, it's David coming at you from Organic Price Books with another David's first look at a. Uh, this is a. Um, I guess what you would call it, like a, like a sketch, like a portfolio kind of thing. We'll, we'll just say it's a gallery edition. A gallery edition, is. yes. So uh, this is for Michael Turner, uh, and uh, you can see obviously here the artwork he had for him. Um, I didn't know who he was, and then I saw it, and I'm like, of course. Uh, if you've read. Um, Batman, versus Batman, Superman. I think it's like, like you know, you know the story when Supergirl shows up. This he draws this, and his artwork is amazing, guys. So we're gonna look at that uh, before we get started. As always, if you want to be eligible to win a twenty-five dollar gift card, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel and leave a comment down below. Tell me if you know who Michael Turner is. Tell me if you like his artwork. Uh, tell me that I look good because you know I always do. Uh, okay, so this thing is enormous, guys. Did it's, you want to compare it to the uh, vibranium? From yes. America? So look, let me let me put this down real quick. So we have, if you've noticed in our videos, we have this in the background. It, it, it was up there. So this is the Captain America vibranium, I guess. <clears throat> this this book is nearly as tall as it. Now, this book, this one, of course, is like has the cardboard up here in the, in the top and in the bottom so technically this book is actually bigger than the book that comes in there and we'll do another you know we'll do a review of this one later uh, but it's 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 I think it's actually bigger than the Scrooge McDuck as you can see uh, it is yeah bigger than that so this thing is huge 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 give me one moment let me put this out of the way uh, all right, so let's jump into it. Uh, and then, as you can see, I, I've always liked this logo, the Superman and the Superman Batman logo. This one, I wish they would have used this for the Batman vs yeah, Superman. Yeah, so well done. It is. It's really cool. Um, all right, so let's take a look. Oh, you know what? Let me show you the front, uh, the back, or the spine, and uh, the back. And uh, let's jump into it. <coughs> All right. All right. I think you're gonna have to give me a book so I could put this thing on top. All right. You want me to give you this? This, the Captain America? Yeah. You can lay it flat. All right. There we go. Yeah. Wow. That's how big this thing is, guys. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> not to you, no. oh, oh, not to me. Damn. Ouch! <laughs> Emotional damage. Uh, anyway, I like this a lot on the on the what is this called? The front page. What do you yep. call it? The bookend? The bookend. There we go. On the bookend, it has the different DC logos. So the original one, of course. You got the more modern ones. And then, of course, the, we have the one that we use now, which I do not like. I do not like this DC logo at all. This one was cool. This one was cool. This is just like... Boring. Boring. Ugh. Anyway, uh, if you know Michael Turner, he draws Batman. And I'm not going to lie. He draws Batman <sighs> almost as good as Jim Lee. Uh, now, obviously, Jim Lee uh, has his own style, but Turner, man, look at this. Just look at Batman. Uh, you'll see it inside. Uh, so it, it, you get to see his Superman as well, which I think is amazing. Like now, I know there's a lot of great artists. Um, you know, you think of like Superman, you think of like All Star Superman. Cool, yeah, but for like definition of detail and the expressions this uh, Turner I man I for some reason I thought Jim Lee drew this and it's up to that level uh, and I am sorry that I did not know that it was Michael Turner but basically this is the gallery edition of Superman and Batman uh, so it covers that actual storyboard or the story if you've read it is when uh, Supergirl her ship crash lands on earth and basically Superman is there to help her out and the, that whole story, I'll, I'll go through it uh, real quick. But you get to see all of that artwork. Now it is all in black and white and the pencils, so you don't see the full color of it. Uh, that That is really good uh, comic if you haven't read it. But his rendition of, of Supergirl is so good. The eyes, the way he draws the eyes, it's very, it reminds me a lot of, Almost like Witchblade. He draws girls like Witchblade, like, uh, and it's really, really nice. As you can see here, uh, the definition of it catches the hands, the tail, like the the physique of them is really, really good. I like it a lot. And this is a, of course, an introduction. And like I said, look at his Superman and his Batman. Like the detail that he puts into the cape, into the artwork, into the, the details in the bottom is so, so nice. I wish you could, um, you know what, I'm gonna find it. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, that is really nice. It's like a see-through kind of 
sheer paper and then you get the drawing here and then this is his uh, the bat boat bat boat basically so basically this is Gotham and as you can see like he does a lot of detail on the buildings it looks really cool really gothic of course Batman is in Gotham City and this is the whole story so he's there like I'm telling you guys you can see it but it doesn't do you justice until you hold this in your hand it looks really cool I want to get the the drawn one and then if I do then I'll, I'll go over that one as well but basically something crash land in Gotham he goes underwater to check out what it is he sees the ship and of course he uh, sees that the ship is taken over somebody comes out of and steal his plane basically and of course we know that it's a uh, supergirl but man look at this the, the, the amount of detail on on the drawing of this is so cool JB look at this so this is Batman in his aqua suit oh yeah yeah Oh, that's an aqua suit. Yeah, I thought it was like a radiation suit or something for your second. No, he was he was scuba diving. He that's was cool fishing though. for oysters. But yeah, this guy draws. Is that I'm, Supergirl? Yeah, that's Supergirl. I, I like that Supergirl. Yeah, he draws her really well. Uh, I don't know if we have this this actual graphic novel, do we? In color? What is it called? <coughs> Batman versus Superman, or sorry, Batman Superman. That one, right? No. Uh, yes and no. It might be a different collection of it, but it, this is a different artist. You see? Oh, I mean, we'll find it eventually. Yeah. It might. You know what? I think the story is in this. In this. Uh, do you mind if I open that real quick? Sure. It's sealed. I don't want to. You know what? I'm gonna find it just so you can, guys can see it a little bit. This is David going the extra extra mile for you guys because you know what? David loves you. This is a five finger library discount. <laughs> uh, this is why we have one of everything on our shelf right here. So he can go through, find whatever it is. <laughs> uh, David likes to read. For research purposes. For research purposes. And then sometimes my books are like sticky. <laughs> oh my God, JP. You're sick. You're sick. Hey, it's not me. I'm just like, why Why is like my my why are my pages stuck in <laughs> Let's see if the story's in here. I, I'll find it for you quick. Mm. Yes, it is. All right. So let me show you this. His look. Look. You see how he draws there? Oh yeah. Yeah. So let me show you that picture of. of uh, look. This is how it looks like when Superman is or Batman is coming out of the water. So you get that, and then this is the of course the pencil drawing. So you can see the size of the the paper. I'm gonna put it right next to it. Look, and this is an Omni, guys. So this is an Omni. Oh, and it has all the, the panels here too, huh? Yeah, like everything. So this is the actual the story bubbles, itself. I mean. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, but you can see, of course, this is all his pencil work for it. And when they add in all of the detail to the lighting and all that, it looks so, so, so cool. But the drawing itself, of course, the pencil drawings is impressive just seeing how much detail he put into that. Uh, once we get into any other, any other really good... Uh, 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 what do you call it? Sections. I'll show it to you. Uh, so it covers that story. Look, look at this Batman. I'm telling you, it's almost Jim Lee level. Like, look at that. Shh. Whew. David is like half, you know, at half mask. It's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course the bat cave over here. I really like how he draws the cape of of Batman, like really like uh, vampiristic. JP, look at this. This is so cool. <coughs> look. Oh. It's oh. like a sheer page and kind uh -huh. of like whenever she's uh, talking in Kryptonian and it shows like the English translation. Oh, snap. Do it again. <coughs> oh, that's really cool. I dig that. That's very, very, uh, what's it called? Creative. Yeah, for reals. Okay. Um... All right, so let's go and so you get the whole story of her coming to Earth. <coughs> she doesn't know what's going on. She real she was actually the older cousin of Kal El, but of course, since she was stuck in space, he got older when he was on Earth. So when she gets there, he of course is now uh, much older. 
Apocalypse hears about her landing and they want to get her because she's the girl. So they send him after her. And then uh, Superman is like, you know what? I'm going to send you with the Amazons to basically keep you guarded there because, you know, they attacked, they attacked uh, her, of course. So let's go over there. Wonder Woman is like, I'm going to go ahead and protect her. And they take her to... Uh, what is the... Hapakdalo, hap, hip, a bit, a bit of a hip hop anonymous. That's where they go to, and they go and they fight. Oh, he's like, I'm gonna train her how to fight. Uh, but while they're there, boom, who manages to show up? But Doomsday. So now, of course, they're like, what's going on? And then it's a bunch of Doomsday. So. Uh, Darkseid had basically made clones of Doomsday since he saw how much damage he did to Superman and decides to attack. This is such a cool image. I'm going to find it for you so that you can see it in color. Let's take a look. Let's uh, take a look. Okay, here's this image. You ready for it? You see it in black and white? Now look at it in color. Oh, you got the dark suit of Batman, of course, at the front. You got the green grass looking really nice, very vibrant. Superman over here, the boom tube colors, and then the doomsdays attacking uh, the Amazons. And uh, that is a really cool fight. You know, uh, Whenever obviously so Superman doesn't like to kill and Then finally they tell him oh these are mindless husks. These are like you know like They don't have a mind of their own so Superman's like oh, okay. I can go full out and he basically Heat visions them to death this you can't really tell like that, but let me show you here Okay, so they're fighting blah 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 and then Superman's like, okay, I'm gonna go all out. Just like, just like, pew, 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 boom, destroys all of them. Gone. He obliterates them. They did. Nothing but husks. And then, of course, uh, you see here, Dark Side, who took her, basically. And. The story after that follows, basically they're gonna go uh, stop Darkseid. And you have, of course, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. And I believe this is, uh, she's one of the new gods, I forgot. So they go after her because they want to stop her. And uh, of course, when they get there, she's been uh, brainwashed and Batman has to, or Superman has to fight her. And this fight is actually really cool. As you can see here, she's been brainwashed. There's Darkseid. His rendition of Darkseid is really, really cool. It looks really cool, guys. It looks amazing. Uh, I'm super impressed on how it looks. So you can see like the, the feminine or the petiteness of, uh, you know, Supergirl. And then the effing thickness of uh, Darkseid over here. Look at his calf. His calf is the size of her whole body. <laughs> He's a... He, he definitely lifts, guys. He definitely lifts. So they fight. Uh, and then Wonder Woman is, of course, fighting Granny Goodness. And you get amazing, some amazing spreads. Look at, look at this Batman. This is so cool. He basically is fighting Darkseid directly. And Darkseid's like, what are you going to do? You're, you're nothing but a man. And then that's when Super Batman is like, oh yeah, well I put bombs all over your, your basically world. So through all the things, so if you kill me, uh, basically I'm going to destroy the world. And, and Darkseid's like, well played, so he lets them go. Uh, that's actually really cool here, let me show you that, so you can see it in color. See, this is the fight that's dark side. He lives for sure. I can just imagine dark side like, I need to conquer this world, but first, leg day. <laughs> 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 
He's been, he's uh, deadlifting a whole planet by himself. <laughs> That's how he gets big. So yeah, there's, uh, you know, Superman basically, or Batman basically just going at him. Of course, he's not going to do anything, but it just shows you the, the balls on, on Bruce Wayne. He, he is not afraid to freaking fight Darkseid hand to hand. <clears throat> Especially if he knows that he has the backup plan. So, you get that, and then at the end, Darkseid, if you haven't read the story, Darkseid is... <coughs> he ain't gonna let his prize go, so he attacks Superman in his uh, farm in Kent, uh, in, sorry, Smallville. And so they fight there, that's a really good fight. Like I said, I like how Darkseid is portrayed by Michael Turner. Really, really cool. And then there they both fight together, Supergirl and Superman versus him, as you can see here. He saves him to the source wall, the source wall. That's where it is. And he basically puts him into the source wall. And if you know anything about that, once he's on there, he basically sinks in there. And here you got the Martian Manhunter helping to uh, basically fix that. And the story is just kind of Supergirl like, okay, like, you know what? Oh, look at this, this is all the superheroes drawn by Michael Turner and it looks really really cool let me show you that let's see if it's here you ready okay oh, in color it looks so good guys because of the how vibrant it is look at that all the superheroes here and that looks really really cool Michael Turner does an amazing job on portraying each of the characters uh, and like the differences in how they look, their uh, eyes, like their their the different level eyes, like like Robin is more scowly, a Superboy has higher eyebrows, the girls are like the the young Flash, his eyes are a little bit bigger, so it's really 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 well drawn. And of course the end. So this also kind of just gives you more of his artwork. So of course the Trinity, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman, Supergirl. The Robins, uh, sorry, uh, Robin and of course Superboy. You have Robin here again. I believe this is Tim Drake. Supergirl again. Uh, oh, Lex Luthor versus Supergirl. I know he did some of that too. Uh, Supergirl in her dark armor, which is, or dark costume, which is black with the red. That's actually really nice. Man, these are so well drawn, guys. I'm, I'm you know, I'm fanboying here. Uh, Superman in like, or Superman's dad, I believe, in Krypton. Hoy! <laughs> Woo! You! An alien. That's hot. <laughs> this is Superman's parents. A Superman like that, he does really well. Look, let me show you this. I didn't show you. Look how he draws all of them. They look really cool. He draws them really well. Uh, Michael Turner. Yeah. I actually, now I want to read it. Yeah. I like the Supergirl looks really cool. She does. That's <laughs> a really good story, man. If you do, if you, yeah. I would recommend this one. Yeah. Yeah, especially for you. Because it's short. Like you saw, this is basically it. It, it was pretty short. Uh -huh. Just that story. Okay. Uh, the Justice League here. All right. Good? Okay. And then uh, this is like uh, the Justice League versus Deathstroke. You can tell because of the sword. And, uh, you know, I always Death recognize... Deathstroke's going to win. Yeah, I, I always recognize an ass when I see it. Oh, that's Deathstroke for sure. <laughs> Wonder Woman. <clears throat> Robin over here, Batman. This is a really good Batman because he looks so sad. Don't cry, my friend. Uh, okay, like their costume's taken off. Like it's just hanging. That's really cool. Oh, this one is such a nice picture. Ooh, dang. They're all beat by the, the bad guys. So the Flash, he does he draws Flash really well. Like the the way he captures the muscles is really, really realistic to a physique of somebody who runs like that. Like it's it's really impressive. He did a flash as well, so uh, if you recognize his style, you, you'll see it by just how well detailed the muscles are. There's another Justice League that he did, really cool. Ooh, we do get some in color. Look at this, guys. This pencil drawing, and then 
Bam! What? That's really cool. JP, I like this one a lot. Look at this. What? Look. Cool, right? Oh, yeah. And then, bow! <laughs> okay. That's really cool, yeah. man. That's dope. That is dope. Looking down on me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Red Tornado. More of the Justice League. Ooh, is this Solomon Grundy? Looks like him. Starro, of course. She's finding a dinosaur, I guess. That's cool. Uh, this is the maze, though, if I'm not mistaken. Mr. Terrific. <clears throat> Uh, Vixen, I believe her name is Vixen. That's really cool, guys. I like how Batman has his claws in this, like, in his, in his glove on this, or his drawings of it. He has, like, actual claws, like, scratch you. Be careful. All right, cool. And then a biography on, of course, of Michael Turner. And then we get the end, of course. So it looks like it's the same thing as the very beginning for the bookend. Let's take a look. Oh, it's a little bit different, but it's also her his rendition of Supergirl. Uh, and oh, look! So it's the front. Hey, that's cool. It's the front of her, and then the same thing, just the back. Very nice. Very nice. So there you go, guys. This amazing uh, collection of Michael Turner, like the gallery of it, and includes a really like one of the best Superman Batman stories that that I that I prefer, uh, and it also includes like a bunch of his sketches of a lot of the DC characters. So you know, get yours while it's available. It's amazing. It's huge. Uh, that's what she said, and I love it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>